The best way to explain forest carbon is, so tr the, for trees to grow, they use photosynthesis. They remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And, and that through that process, the carbon's converted into sugars and oxygen. That sugar is used for food throughout the tree. And with the carbon that's within that sugar is distributed throughout the tree from the leaves, through the wood, the bark, all the way to the roots. Our forests benefit us in terms of carbon by sequestering, which is removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. Basically, if you're in a forest setting, anything you see within that forest is gonna be you know, tied to forest carbon in general. In terms of carbon emission, what makes the forest industry and the wood products markets and, and industries you know, kind of unique in terms of the whole carbon aspect is uh, one, they're renewable resources, they're sustainable. So we can continue to sequester carbon, to bring carbon in from the atmosphere and store it. And even when those forest and trees are turned into forest products, that carbon remains stored in those products. And at an early age, I was introduced to forestry and forestry management. And, you know, I was really intrigued by that. I was, I was really intrigued by the fact that you could have a career working in a forest, assisting landowners with making decisions with their forest and managing those forests long term. And I knew early on that that was something I wanted to do. And I had the opportunity to follow that career path and kind of ended up where I am now.